today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make socks with the Cricut machine. Um, and I also wanted to give a special thanks to everyone that filled out my surveys. Now I have ideas on what my next video should be about. And also, um, while I was screen recording, I woke, I was the first one to wake up that morning. And so it's going to sound a little weird because I was whispering and I'll try not to wake anybody else up. And yeah, that's all I have to say. So let's get into the video. Okay guys, so um, first we're going to go to Cricut Design Space. And then we'll just add a new project. And I've already uploaded the images. I just got them. Um, I got the C8 right here from Safari. But I'm just going to show you how to upload it because I've already uploaded it. But you're going to see like these blue pieces on the outline and you have to erase those or remove those or it'll look like this. And you don't want your image to look like this. So yeah, that's upload this CH that's going to go inside of the border. And I have to erase the lines or remove them. You can see those little lines. So I'm going to go back to clean up and then I'm going to use the eraser tool. And the eraser tool looks like this. You can erase. And then the remove tool is just where you click it and it'll erase. So I'm going to use the remove tool and I'm just going to click these little lines and it's gone. And now you see that those lines are gone. So now I have to do the same for the other lines. Okay, and so now I just have to erase that bit at the top right there. And that's done. So I just put that into Design Space. I just upload it into Design Space. And now I position my boulder or not the boulder, the outline with the inside of it. I'm gonna do the inside gray and the outside outline blue. And I got this Fear the Fork because I took a picture of um, my shirt, but you can screenshot it if you want to. The fork is the same as how it was, and we're gonna change the color. And now we're gonna make it. And now it shows you the cricket mats, but you need to make sure you mirror it. And that's how you do it. And so now we're going to press continue. And then this little thing is going to pop up to connect your Cricut machine with your phone. And then once that's done, I'll show you your mats again. And then I'll show you the steps to have the Cricut cut it. So first you set your material on a mat, then you load the mat. And then you press the go button. Okay guys, so um, this is a brand of vinyl I use. It's the Paper Studio. Um, I get it from Hobby Lobby. This is the sports iron-on. This is a metallic silver to, my, to the right. And then a royal blue to the left. Um, 
these are 12 by 24 inches and I suggest you always use sports flex with your socks um, or if you use regular vinyl then the vinyl might rip and we don't want that to happen. Okay, so now I'm gonna place my sock on the jag. I bought this jag from Amazon. I will put a link to it below. And then I have this other sock thing that came with the socks and it's like cardboard. And so all I do is I put that on top of the jag. And that is it for putting it on the jag. So I'm using my household iron. I'm not using my press for these socks. I feel like it's easier to use an iron than to use your press. And now I'm going to put my feather fork on it. I did measure two centimeters on each side. And I'm trying to measure So yeah, um, that's what I'm doing. And so now I'm gonna iron. And I did this for two and a half minutes. It usually doesn't take that long, but I guess for socks it does. And, okay guys, this is the next sock. And if you already have both of the CHs on top of each other and you iron it, it is not gonna work. Only the blue CH will be on the sock, and then your silver CH will be stuck on the transfer tape. So I'm going to iron this for two and a half minutes, the first layer for two and a half minutes at least. Okay, so um, while I'm waiting for that to cool before I peel it, I am making stickers to put on cell phone cases. So I'm going to have a link to my Facebook in the description box below. And so yeah. Okay, so I've taken off my blue transfer tape. And so now I'm just putting the silver on top and I'm just positioning it the right way. Okay, and so now I'm just gonna iron that on. Okay, so here's the finished product. Um, so, yeah, this is how they turned out. They are super cool, and you can do it for anything you want. And, yeah, I think that's all for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, and if you learned something from it, please like and subscribe to my channel. And also go check out my Desk Designs Facebook. Bye, guys.